This morning, tensions between the United States and Russia are high after the death of Alexei Navalny. Russian President Vladimir Putin has been accused of assassinating Navalny, his biggest critic. President Biden speaking out yesterday. Putin is responsible. This morning, Navalny's widow blaming President Putin for his death and accusing the Kremlin of holding his body to hide the evidence. In Russia, Navalny's supporters have been laying flowers and tributes, which Russian authorities are promptly removing. Activists say around 400 of Navalny's supporters have been detained. Prison officials say the 47-year-old Navalny, who barely survived a poisoning in 2020, collapsed and died suddenly last week at a penal colony in Siberia, one day after looking healthy during a court appearance. Russian officials say they have yet to determine the cause of death. As the Biden administration condemned the death of yet another Russian activist to die under mysterious circumstances, the president has also been reassuring Ukraine's President Zelensky that he still has Washington support. Russian troops are arguably today in their strongest position since invading Ukraine, capturing the small Ukrainian city of Avdivka this weekend. Russia's first significant advance in nearly a year. Ukrainian troops tried to hold the city along the front line in the Far East, but outmanned and outgunned, the government chose a strategic retreat instead, while it awaits fresh supplies of American weapons, blocked by Republicans in Congress. President Biden saying the United States won't abandon the country in its time of need. Miro Popovich has been fighting Russian troops on the front line for most of the last two years. I met him at the start of the war and caught up with him again recently. We are tired, we are exhausted, but we're going to have to keep fighting. Till my last breath or till the victory. Yeah. Which one do you think it's going to be? The victory. President Biden has told President Zelensky that he is confident Ukraine will get the military aid and ammunition and funding. And out here in eastern Ukraine, troops say it can't come soon enough. Peter? Yeah, your report just highlighting the urgency there. Richard, thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.